Hi everyone and welcome back to the latest instalment of the Marketplace Now. Today I want to return to Nikki J Conway's artworks. You may remember Nikki from the teaser video that we posted a few days ago and I want to return and talk about her artworks in more depth. So Nikki actually submitted five different pieces to us, three poems and two beautiful wheelchair paintings which I introduced to you on, in the, on the teaser video. I want to talk about them in more depth. So this first video here is going to talk about two of her poems and then the second video will talk more in depth about her wheelchair paintings and a poem that correlates with one of her wheelchair paintings. Okay, so just before we get started, a little bit about Nikki. So Nikki is, was 55 at the point of the, the exhibition um, or the point of the project in 2019. She has atatoid cerebral palsy which has made her unable to walk, barely talk, feed, bathe or toilet herself. So she is reliant on carers for almost every part of her, of her, of her needs. This said, she does strive to be as independent as possible. And she has, from a very young age, taught herself how to paint using her head. Her mum and her made a, a sort of makeshift helmet, which is essentially just a helmet and they attached a, 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 a paintbrush to it using sticky tape and glue, etc. And from that, she's been able to create the most beautiful artworks. Um, however, for this exhibition, she wanted to be a little bit more adventurous and use her wheelchair as a, as a tool to be able to create um, art. And that's exactly what she did. But that's for the second video. In today's video, I just want to share with you a couple of, po a couple of poems that, that Nikki has written. She's an avid poet, and she often will share her poetry. She'll just write random poems and then send them off to her friends and I'm very very privileged to be one of those recipients and one of those friends that receives some beautiful poetry from her every few weeks or so and so these are two poems that she wrote specifically for this exhibition so let's go and check them out so here are the poems over here they are called commercial thoughts and a woman with cerebral palsy now, I appreciate it's, it would be a bit long for me to read through the whole poem. So what I'm going to do is just drag down so that you can read the poem and pause as you go along, if you would like. So this is Commercial Thoughts. But two of the... Two of the um, verses I do want to sort of focus on, however, are right here. And they say, shopping has changed in the space of a century. Now we have Amazon and a million other online retailers. Now I can flip from page to page, clicker to clicking with my foot switches. Amazon has made me an independent buyer. The table has turned a bit as I assist my mother to buy her laced gadgets. The reason why I wanted to highlight these two verses is because Nikki spoke at length about the fact that she's sort of grown up through the analog era into the internet boom technological advancement era. And as a woman who is a wheelchair user and someone with cerebral palsy, she says that she really has noticed a change in the access and the ability to be independent as someone with a disability. As online shopping really has opened the world to her. She has a specialised computer, and due to having some dexterity in her left foot, she's able to use a foot pedal that allows her to email people, to use Facebook, to send her poems to people, but most importantly, it allows her to shop. And as she says here, she's able to assist her mum rather than her mum assisting her and being able to buy things online. And that has really helped to open up the world so it just shows the power of technology. Um, technology gets a bad rep sometimes, and it can be very dangerous, but it can also be very, very life-affirming and a way of independence, especially for many with disabilities. So I just wanted to highlight that with regards to commercial thoughts. Now moving down to her second poem, which is A Woman with Cerebral Palsy. And again, I'll just drag down, and you can pause and read as you like. In this poem, I just want to focus on the second and third verse, where she 
really does question how people see her. But if a stranger in the street sees me, or a new carer comes to meet me, they may see the chair, my disability, and my scruffy hair. But that is not me. I am lucky I don't see the chair as a barrier from the world. It is my vehicle to the world. I wanted to highlight this because this is something that's came through with a lot of wheelchair users, that quite often people just see the chair. They don't see the, the person in the chair. They just see their disability. They see their impairment. And it can be really frustrating. And that was what I really wanted to do or help to do with this exhibition and project. It was to prioritise ability over disability, to prioritise the person over the impairment. And I hope we've successfully done that. But one of the things that I think is really powerful is that for Nikki, her, she is not wheelchair disabled or wheelchair hindered. She is wheelchair enabled. As she says, her wheelchair is her vehicle to the world. And this has been shared by many. We heard the same thing with the POPSI installation, The Journey, where they wanted people to focus downwards, but they also wanted to help people to understand the wheelchair is not binding but enabling. And so I'm going to leave our little video here, um, but I want to return to talk a bit more about this idea of the wheelchair being a vehicle to the world in Nikki's second video, where we'll talk about how she uses her vehicle, her wheelchair, as a tool, as a paintbrush in her wheelchair paintings. Hope you've enjoyed this video, and please do click on to hear about Nikki's second part, her wheelchair painting artwork. Thanks, guys. Take care. Bye.